Hey rainbows, it's Loretta. I'm uh, coming to you live <laughs> from my office, okay? And it, it would normally have been our rainbow team meeting um, night, but um, just, you know what? Things going on this weekend and life happening. Um, we had to reschedule and you all know my house is under construction. I'm sorry if I'm making you crazy because I'm trying to figure out the best angle for this camera for my tripod here. All right. Okay. I think that's good. Do you guys like that? Let's see. And oh, darn it. Here we go. Hi, Rondetta. Glad you could join us. Hi, Barbara Ann. I'm having technical issues with my stand, <laughs> my tripod. Oh, Lord. Okay. All right. Maybe if I don't touch it. Actually. Hi, Deb. Hi, Barbara Ann. Um, I'm going to see if I can figure this out. A friend of mine told me how to make this work. And I don't have that icon. Hmm. Nope, that's not it. I'm trying to figure out how to flip the screen so it's actually showing in the right direction. But for some reason, it doesn't work for me. I've got nothing. Hmm. All right. So... I'm sorry, guys. I was hoping I could flip the screen around because, you know, when, it's like when you hold up papers, you can't read them because they're backwards. <laughs> so I was trying to figure it out. Hmm. Let's see. That's not it. All right. guess I won't do that. All right. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get started. And hopefully I will be able to have Lydia join us. Um, and bring her on live with us once I figure out how to get back to my settings. Somebody wave to me. Let me know if you can hear me. Um, I don't know why I feel like it's a really hazy kind of look. It's not real clear and sharp. But hey, that's technology, right, guys? I have a brand new phone. Always learning something new. All right. Can you guys see me, hear me? Can somebody just uh, make a comment or anything? <laughs> Send me some smiley faces, some hearts. I feel like the camera's too high. How do I lower this so that I am not chopping myself off? All right. You guys there? Oh, that was not good. <laughs> oh, you should probably learn how to use your equipment before you use it, huh, guys? <laughs> hey, but we're all girlfriends here. All right. Anybody on? I can't see any comments. Nothing. I got nothing. All right. Oh. There you are. Oh, I, I'm so sorry. I was stuck somewhere. All right. I see Lydia. Yay. I see Randetta's. Oh, hi. You guys can all see me. Can you hear me? Yes, you can hear me. Great. Thank you, guys. All right. I'm going to bring Lydia on and split the screen. Hopefully this will work, guys. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can bring Lydia Selfless on to our training night. All right, Lydia. Hope you're ready. <laughs> As she's adding, adding. Oh man, this is very sensitive. I'm sorry, guys. I kind of like it right there. Yay. Hopefully, Lydia's um, internet will be strong. And I hope you guys, I don't know about you guys, but it was a rainy, cloudy day. And I don't know if you could have um, stayed in bed all day. That was, this was a perfect day for that. <laughs> um, it's supposed to be nice here tomorrow, though. All right. Yay, Lydia. Hello. How are you? Uh oh, <laughs> she's adjusting too. <laughs> I know. Hang on. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Well, while she's getting her her screen settled, <laughs> I just wanted to share with you guys that um <laughs> that um oh, normally uh once a month we do our rainbow organization team meetings all right lydia joins us and uh we uh do our meetings together and it's once a month on a monday uh and for um just personal stuff going on here in my home i could not have everybody have have here people blah, blah, i can talk uh people here all right so we're gonna go live with you and just do some a power training hour i promise not to go over an hour if i do i'll give away prizes okay <laughs> all right so lydia are you ready all set there i don't know she's still adjusting yes <laughs> you look great <laughs> oh i look cute and i 
can hear you. That's cuter <laughs> than normal. <laughs> Back away from the camera. Back away from the camera. <laughs> I'm trying. Oh, my word. <laughs> you look fine. We don't want to see your ceiling. It was fine before. It was fine. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get started here. Um, you know what? It is time for a checkup, guys, all right? So if your business isn't where it's at, uh, maybe you need a shot of enthusiasm. Um, you know, maybe your business needs a facelift, all right? Or maybe you're just new and getting started. Uh, we have Dr. Tupper to the rescue, <laughs> all right? And uh, we're going to share four powers of success from Dr. Tupper, okay? And the first one is, now write this down. You have, I'm going to quiz you at the end, all right? And when you comment um, or answer questions, um, I am going to put you in a, a drawing, all right? So at the end of the night, I have a, a surprise gift coming your way, all right? So, so you do that. And so uh, the first one is the power of a prestigious appearance. Prestigious appearance. And if you want to know how to spell that... <laughs> All right. Uh, who wants to spell prestigious in the comments? All right. Remember, every time you comment or uh, answer a question, you get you get another point for our raffle at the end of this meeting. Okay. I see a heart. <laughs> Yay. Prestigious. Okay. Appearance. And so, what what would prestigious appearance mean to you? All right. So, if anybody wants to comment, what does prestigious appearance mean to you? Lydia, you have any thoughts on that? Professional. Professional. I like that. Thank you, Deb, for typing out prestigious appearance. Yep. Professional. I like that. So um, wearing sweatpants and a T-shirt, would that be a, a prestigious appearance? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, look successful. Yes, Deb. That's good. That's good. All right. That's exactly what it is, guys. You know, but it's also um, also makes you feel good. Hey, Randetta says, how you carry yourself and present yourself. Yes. Yes, a very prestigious appearance. So, you know, not hunched over, um, not looking down, not looking at people, your eyes. Okay, that's part of your appearance. Right? It's not always about the clothes you're wearing. It's about how you present yourself and how you carry yourself, like Randetta says. I like that. Um, and giving that successful look. So, so when you walk out the door, all right, and it doesn't matter if you're going to the grocery store or the post office and you're like, oh, no one's going to see me. That is always when you run into somebody and you wish <laughs> you were dressed for success, all right? Wearing Tupperware logos. Yes, yes, that's, that's very professional also, all right? And we've got a great, um, I always call her our fashion designer, Pam Cliff Designing t-shirts and logos and making us look good in her logo wear so so yes yeah, so but it also makes you feel good and I don't know but if I'm in sweats and a t-shirt I don't feel the same as if I'm wearing you know a, a beautiful blouse and um, you know or or slacks or my nicest shoes um, you know you know what I mean it gives you that a different personal feeling like how do you feel does it make you feel good Okay, what do you think, Lydia? I agree wholeheartedly. It's um, even just um, putting your name tag on kind of keeps you aware of your uh, appearance a little bit more and makes you uh, think a little bit more professional. Um, it just kind of keeps you aware of um, first impressions, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. So why do you guys think it's so important to have that prestigious appearance? I mean, let's say you're walking into a Tupperware party and, um, um, you know, uh, example A is um, I've got um, uh, cutoff shorts on and um, a tank top, <laughs> you know, a couple holes in it. Uh, I didn't put any makeup on today. <laughs> uh, Flip flops, you know, fall apart, whatever. Or example B, um, you know, I've got uh, maybe a nice summer dress on, you know, some nice sandals, okay, 
There's a difference between flip flops and nice summer sandals. Okay, I am not going to wear clothes. I, I am. I love my sandals. Okay, so absolutely, uh, sandals, and I've got a nice uh, sundress on. Uh, I've got my makeup on. Man, my hair is looking pretty. I mean, example A or example B. How do you think the people in the room at your party are going to feel with example A? The cutoff shorts, t-shirts. Hey, Teresa, nice for you to join us. They're going to think you really don't care about your business and that you're, it's not really a business for you. It's, it's maybe just a hobby or it's, you're there because you have to be. Yes, exactly. Yes, it gives that presentation of, you know what, you're just doing this. I don't even know why you're doing this, but you're, mm -hmm. um, and I like um, what Deb's saying here. If you look like you're cleaning your car, then I don't want you here at my house. <laughs> if you look successful, I want that person. So think about everybody else that's at the party, and they walk you, they watch you walk in with, with that, you know, those cutoff jeans and that tank top and some old pair of flip flops laying around. All right, they're not going to think you care about your business, and they're not going to invite you into their home if you want, if you're trying to date parties. Okay. So example B. Um, you've got a nice bun dress on. Um, if it's winter, maybe you've got nice slacks on. You don't have to wear a three-piece suit, guys, all right? A, a pretty blouse, a nice sweater, um, got nice shoes on, and uh, you've got your makeup done. Your hair is looking pretty. So example B, you walk into the party. How do you think um, everyone feels about you there? You're going to have respect of the customers and your hostess. If you walk in as example A and your hostess is going to be pretty disappointed, most likely. Um, example B, you're there, you care about what. You care to do a job. You're there because you care. You're there. They're going to want to invite you into their home as well. Example A, probably not so much. Right, right. And how about you yourself? How do you feel if you were example A, we're in the cutoff shorts and a you know little tank top, old flip flops, and example B. Example A, you're going to be carefree. You're not really going to care what goes on. Example two, B, whatever it was, um, you're going to be in a. Um, a mindset of doing your business, of service, of um, caring about your customers and there to help them. Um, your your profession. It's your you're a businesswoman or man. Yeah. yeah. I think it also gives you a feeling of confidence. Um, you know, just dressing prestigiously, having that prestigious appearance. If you just joined us, I saw Amanda joined us, and hi, Chrissy. Um, we're talking about the four powers of success, and the first one being having a prestigious appearance, all right? And so um, having that prestigious appearance, sorry, guys. Oops. <laughs> this is technology. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there because it I'm keeps falling. I'm going to try to lift it back. I don't think it's <laughs> <laughs> nope. Having that, um, you know, feeling good about yourself and giving yourself that confidence. All right. Sometimes you have to do it for yourself. Yeah. I don't know what it is, Lydia. My stand is like having a mind of its own tonight. <laughs> okay. Hi, Amanda. Glad you could join us. Hey, Michelle. All right. So, um, so our first power is that power of, of prestigious appearance and feeling good about yourself giving yourself the confidence, all right, and walking into that party, having everyone there respect you, um, feeling already trusting you, and wanting to invite you into their home. All right. So our next power of success, that was number one, all right. And, hey, if you just joined us, um, every time you comment um, or share something or answer a question, I'm going to put you in a drawing, and uh, I will be sending a surprise gift to some lucky person that's been on tonight, okay? So we've got the power of words. All right. That's our second power of success, power of words. And I can't stress to you how important words are. Um, what words do you need? Uh, when do your words make a difference? All right. 
And can you think of a time when words really affected you? And I'm sure you all can, all right? So I'm going to give you some, there's, there's the self-talk words, okay? And this is all about building confidence in your business, okay? And if you tell yourself, well, you know what? I can't date any parties. The word can't. Take it out of your vocabulary, all right? Um, I'm not good at. Take it out of your vocabulary, all right? When you say things like that internally, whether you say them out loud or just to yourself, all right, that's what you're feeding your brain. And so you want to take that vocabulary out and maybe flip it around. I remember one of our speakers talking about turning it around. If you're stuck, if you're at a stopping point and you're like, all right, I'm not dating parties, what words could you use to flip that around? Use the words, I'm, oh my goodness, I had so many parties in September. How did Loretta date so many parties in September? So take yourself into the future and look back and, and picture yourself, all right, making it happen and ask yourself, all right, how did you do it? All right, so, so instead of saying the words, I can't date any parties, flip it around and say, you know what, I'm an awesome dater. I date parties well because, and then answer your question. Um, Lydia, any thoughts on the power of words? I agree with everything you've said. Um, the word can't absolutely has to come out of your of your vocabulary because if you believe you can't, you, you're, you're right. If you believe you can, you're right again. So I would rather believe I can instead of believing that I can't. If you say yeah. you can't, you're also not going to try. Right. Right. I so can, if you flip I it will. around. Yeah. If you yeah, if you flip it around and so ask yourself, so you know what? Wow, I was the best recruiter in the month of September. How did I do it? <laughs> you know? And that makes you start thinking and you and just brainstorm. Take a sheet of paper and just start writing things down. What did you do? Did you contact people? So those words are truly powerful. I'm gonna give you some words um, that you should be using in your demonstrations, all right? And so these are uh, about a few words here. So write this down. One of the words is the word easy, okay? Easy. It's so easy to have a party, all right? Don't make it hard and complicated, all right? Use the word easy. Hey, Lydia, it's really easy to have a party. Have two or three of your friends over. I'll bring a couple uh, products over. We could be done in five minutes. I call it my three, four, five party, guys, all right? It's easy, <laughs> okay? Um, it's easy to join Tupperware. Yeah, we've got a beautiful starter kit to start your business off and great training. It's as easy as one, two, three. <laughs> you make an investment, all right? You can either do our two pay easy, easy pay, all right? Or you can pay the full amount and we can get you started. So the word easy. Um, two, uh, another word is um, uh, results. People like results, okay? You can talk all you want about how great something is, but when you actually have results, okay, Tupperware's, uh, you could say something like, the results of our famous Tupperware seal is crisp vegetables, soft bread, and cake. The results of using Tupperware is fresh food, easy preparation, and enjoyable serving, and economical storing. Obviously, these are not my words, all right? So don't ever read anything like that. I'm just giving you examples, all right? So it's easy to have a party. Oh, my goodness, it's so easy to use our Power Chef. Just pull the cord a couple times, and you can have a fast, quick meal. And I'm telling you, the results are going to be amazing. You're going to have this beautiful meal. Like last night, I made these garlic butter potatoes um, sliced with our mandolin and our Power Chef and our, our grill. Seven minutes. It was really easy, and I had great results. My son ate the whole bowl. He said he didn't want any. <laughs> Didn't leave any for my husband. He let him have a bite. <laughs> All right. So results. Um, the third word you're, you should use is the word love, and it should be with the fourth word, which is you. All right. So when you're doing your demonstrations, all right, you need to really work hard on the word you will love. You love. You, you, you. All right. And I will share with you when I first started, I really – practiced really hard. Hi, Candice. I practiced really hard to take the word I out of my demonstration, all right, 
because of course you love it. So when I say I love the power chef, I love my fridge smarts, I love, I love, I love. Yes, you love it. You're the Tupperware <laughs> consultant, all right? So flip it around and and really get to know your customers and you're gonna say, Lydia, you're going to love the power chef when you get it. Oh my. Amanda, you're gonna love how the fridge smarts keep your vegetables fresh, all right? Make them feel good about the purchase they're making or um, the products that you're working on and how they're going to make them feel, okay? They're going to love. So you, you, you. Lydia, any thoughts on those two words there? No. Um, well, other than, yeah, you definitely want to take I out of there and, and put you in. And I still catch myself every once in a while. It says, I love this, and then I add, and you will too. Yeah. So as soon as I catch myself put the I in there and you will too. So I, you still put the U in there, but yep. definitely. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So if you can use the words you and love as much as you can in your demonstrations, that will be powerful. And another powerful word is um, need. Okay. <laughs> need. You know what? People need Tupperware. You need it to prepare your food. You need it to keep your vegetables fresh. You need it to save you money. You need it in your pantry where it's going to keep you organized and help you save time, waste, space, and money, all right? You will need the power chef to make this. You will need the grill. If you've got a busy lifestyle, you've got kids on the go, or maybe you're working full time, whatever it is, okay, and you're like really tired of ordering out all the time, okay, you need our Micro Pro Grill. It's going to make you some fast, easy recipes with some delicious results. Notice how I'm, I'm using all those words, okay? So need. So Barbara Ann says, easy results, love you. Yes, change the words around. <laughs> Good job, Barbara Ann. Pay attention. Another point for you. <laughs> all right. Um, so those were some of the key words I like, wanted to share. These are a few more, but I wanted to share some of those since we're going to keep this down to an hour. So our third power of success. Third power of success. Hey, Nicole. Um, is the power of convic conviction, the power of conviction. So our first one was the power of prestigious appearance, all right, making yourself feel good, giving yourself confidence, and when you're walking into a party or an event um, that they are um, respecting you and you're giving off that confident impression. Number two was the power of words, and we talked about some key words there, all right, and our third power is the power of conviction. All right, so what does this mean to you? What would the power of conviction mean to you? Hey, Tina, glad you could join us. Are you asking me? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> I'm asking everybody. They can comment. And Lydia, you can Everybody, speak. yes. Yes. Um. The power of conviction is kind of like, I guess the lack of conviction is if you're just showing a product and it does this and it does this and you're just not handling it, per, you know, just holding it up or something instead of holding it this way. People know that you love your product. You you have a conviction about your product. You You absolutely have used it. If you have not, people can tell. Mm -hmm. um, it's got to mean more than just, it's got to be more than just a bowl. Yeah. Yeah. It's got to um, be more so than just a bowl to you. Yeah. I mean, I sell Tupperware not because I like to sell guys. All right. I have a conviction in my heart that I do this. Um, because it gives me the freedom and the f flexibility. I am convicted about that, all right? And um, when you set a goal for yourself, you need to be convicted about that goal. If you're going to say to yourself, you know what? I really want to make this my full-time career, then you need to be convicted about it, all right? And you need to put that into action. So if you're going to do that, we're going to share a little bit about this in a little bit, is your power hours, okay? And putting that, you need to be convicted about your vision and your dream, all right? I know when Lydia was working full-time and um, 
I, I could just see the conviction in her, in her soul, in her heart. All right. She wanted out so badly. And I remember you going to Pam and, um, and something about excuses or something. Can you share a little bit about that? Yeah, I had um, something came up and I didn't do something or whatever. And it's like I was telling her this and this and this was why I didn't or couldn't or whatever. And she just looked me straight in the eye and said, stop making excuses. And I'm just like, but I on the way home, I thought about it. It's like, you know what? I was making excuses. I was. Then I got back to work. <laughs> <laughs> so you were reconvicted of what you really wanted. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so I remember yep. you after that. You kept you got on the phone and I don't care if it was before work, during work, on your break time. <laughs> yeah. And yep. you would just put those power hours into play and we're gonna talk about those power hours and make those phone calls or those or contacts, whatever you needed to do, text message, whatever. And um and I, I don't think it was very long after that moment, after you truly decided and, and convicted yourself that you made it happen and you got to leave that, that job. Yep. Awesome. Way to go. All right. I'm seeing lots of comments on here, guys. Barbara Ann, have a passion for the product and what it does. Yes, get excited about it. Okay, great, guys. Yep. Every time you comment, you get a, you get my drawing for a surprise gift. Okay. So how do you think being convicted, um, how does this power of conviction um, affect your actions? What did it do for you, Lydia? Without it, there's no action. True. If you don't have a conviction, if, you're, if you don't feel strongly about what you, you're doing or what you want um, about your why, you're not going to do anything and you're going to get nowhere. So how did it affect you when um, Pam said, okay, those are excuses. How did it affect you? What did, what did, how did it affect your actions? It, it made me stop and think at first it was like, whoa, you know, it was like, I didn't expect it from her. And then it was like, <laughs> You know, I thought about it for a little bit, and it's like, she's absolutely right. And it made me think, and it made me get back to work. It made me take steps that I needed to do, and I found the time, and I did it. I, you just do it, knowing where you want to go and where you want to be, and you get there. Yeah. If you work it, you'll get there. So how many hours a week were you working? 50, 60, at least. Right, right. Same with me, guys. I was working those 60, 70 hours, okay? And I was convicted that I, I had to leave. I had to leave for my own sanity, <laughs> all right, and for my family. And uh, 23 years later, we're still here, all right? Um, yep. So, well, Lydia, how long has it been since you quit your full-time career? Your other job. I know this is your career now. The, it was the end of 2012, so five and a half years. All right. I've been back into okay. Tupperware six years, but five and a half years out of that job. Oh, I like what Nicole, thank you. Yep, that's awesome. Uh, Nicole mm -hmm. says it reminds you of, of your why and it redirects your focus. Yes, yes it does. Yes. All right, so that's our third uh, power, power conviction. And our fourth power all right, is the power of work, all right? I know a lot of people don't like that word, W-O-R-K, work, all right? It's None of this is going to happen. I know, right? <laughs> it's not going to happen, guys. It is not, hey, hocus pocus. It's not, oh, your phone's going to be working off the hook. People are going to be dating parties with you. It doesn't happen like that, all right? It is going to take action. It's going to take work, all right? And there's a quote here on my on my screen. It says, Opportunities are usually disguised as hard work, so most people don't recognize them, all right? Opportunities are usually disguised as hard work, so most people don't recognize them. That's by Ann Landers. And so sometimes I feel like people think, oh, um, you know, that person, 
uh, you know, everything is easy for them and whatever. And because they're up there, you know, time and time again, being recognized, whatever. Listen, it didn't come without work. It didn't come without putting power hours into your schedule and working your business every single day. Now, am I telling you to put in eight hours a day? No, I'm asking for one. <laughs> I'm not asking for anything, all right? I'm asking you, if you have that conviction and you want to make this happen and you want it to be a little bit more than a hobby and you want it to be a little bit more than just a couple bucks here and there, but you really want to bring in some serious income, then you need to be convicted about it. You need to present yourself with a prestigious appearance, all right? You've got to use some powerful words about self-talking to yourself, and you've got to put the work into it. That's the bottom line, all right? That is the bottom line, all right? Um, so how many hours a week, if you're working, if you're working another job, how many, how many hours a week did you work? So Lydia, you worked what, 50, 60 hours? Yeah, there were 70 hour weeks in there as well. But um, I don't think I ever worked less than 50, ever. Um, but it was usually at least 60 or so. That's, yeah. that's, that's not hours. 40 hours a week would have been a dream, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, so how many hours could you put into your business guys and whether you're working full-time or whether you're a stay-at-home mom or maybe you have a combination of, of both of them I worked uh, full-time okay and I had uh, you know kids all right so I had it all going on all right so you don't want to talk to me about I'm too busy because I did I did it I was there all right <laughs> but I was convicted to make this happen all right so um, uh, we're going to talk about a power hour and how to have a power hour. All right, so I'm going to flip my, my training into my power hour here. And I had it right here in front of me. I'm going to go, Lydia. Do you know where it went? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I printed all this stuff, so I'd be ready for you guys. Oh, here it is, under my other paper. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, hey, Emmy, glad you could join us. All right. So we just talked about the four powers of convict, I'm sorry, <laughs> the four powers of success. And so um, if anybody lists all four powers, you get an extra point in our drawing, all right? If you just joined us, every time you comment or answer a question, you go in my drawing for a surprise gift at the end of our um, training here. So, all right, so power number one, who remembers? What's our number one, Lydia? It is... It will help you form good habits. Oh, no, no, no. What's our four powers? Oh, of success? What's our first doing? power. Oh, <laughs> power hour number one or the. Yeah. Oh, my power. word. I probably said it wrong. <laughs> I'm on to the power hour. I know. I know. The, the first power was the power of a prestigious appearance. Right. And power number two is the power of words. Power number three was the power of conviction. Conviction. And our fourth power is the power of work. All right. So to help, help you with that fourth power, we're going to share with you our power hour. All right. All right. Our power hours. Now, whether you have fifth, uh, an hour of solid time, fantastic. But most people don't. Most people are running around taking the kids to preschool, taking them to school, picking them up, taking a soccer practice or whatever. Uh, maybe you're working a full-time job. Maybe you get a 10-minute break. You maybe get a lunch, all right? So wherever you can put this hour, it does not have to be a solid hour. It could be 10 minutes here. It could be 5 minutes here. It could be 15 minutes here. Wherever you can put it into your day, all right? But putting in, it into your day is the most important thing. And what it can do for you, number one, is it helps you form good habits, all right? So if you start putting those power hours every day, and I'm not telling you to work Saturdays and Sundays, all right? Five days a week, all right? Five days a week, and you put in a 10-minute, 15-minute, and at the end of the day, you've put an hour in. One, it makes you feel good. And if you do that three weeks in a row, it will become a habit, and it will just be a part of nature. Right, Lydia? Right. All right. What's Absolutely. our second... What's our uh, number two reason for power hour? 
the secret of success. Is that what you're looking for? Yeah. <laughs> yes. The secret of success with this system is focus. And you really do have to stay focused. Yep. It'll give you that focus because you know um, that you will be making these calls and we'll talk about the actual parts of the power hour, but it's going to help you stay focused on your, on your, on your dream, on your vision, on your why you're doing this. Okay. And the third reason for this is the system encourages daily action. All right. So it's back to that work and fourth power of success is work. Okay. And so daily action if you did not take a bath for three weeks, what would happen? Oh, dear. <laughs> you would stink. <laughs> Friends would disappear. <laughs> right? All right, you would stink. Well, that's what happened to your business. If you don't work your business three weeks in a row, you don't make any calls, you don't put any power hours in, you're going to stink. Your business is going to stink, I promise you. Okay? I also... Uh, share with you that if you do put these power hours in, in three weeks, you will start seeing the results. It will take you about three weeks, okay, to start getting those results. So don't give up. It'll form a habit and it'll give you focus. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you we stink. Yes. All right, guys. So here's how it works. All right. Five days a week, spend a power hour on your business every day. Divide your hour into, I don't care what it is, five minutes, ten minutes, whatever it takes, but at the end of the day, you've put your power hour in, okay? I also wanted to share with you that, you know, consultants plan, plan at least a power hour every week, but if you want more, I would say every day, all right? Every day, okay? Or you, if you want to split it out and put 15 minutes on Monday and 15 minutes on Tuesday, that's great. If you're doing this a side hobby, but if you want a little more, every day okay managers double it if you want the next step you want to move up or if you are a leader two hours a day right two hours a day and directors we have an added you know because we have a not only do we have a team we have a personal team we also have managers that we're leading so I'm going to say three or four hours a day because we're also contacting our team working our business that way and still working our personal business okay so I don't know about you, but it's still not um, 50, 60, 70 hours that Lydia and I worked before. <laughs> right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. So the first part of your power hour should be really spent on host-related phone calls. All right? Whether you're calling an upcoming hostess, whether you're calling someone to date a party, all right? Or, um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Okay, so you're either going to be calling new hostesses, party leads, all right, um, or you're calling an upcoming party. So if you have a party this week, you might want to call them up and say, hey, Lydia, your party's Thursday night. Who's coming to your party? And listen to my words. Remember, words are power of success. Instead of asking her how many, I'm asking her who. You're going to get the answer to how many anyway. All right, so we're going to do a little role play here, Lydia. Hey, Lydia, it's Loretta with Tupperware. Can't wait for your party Thursday. So who's coming? Um, I think Mary and Rebecca and Sarah. Probably oh. Sally. Yeah. Who's Mary? Tell me who Mary is. Who's Mary and Rebecca? Are they Mary's friends? Or my si she's my sister. Oh, your sister, Mary. I think I've met her before. I love her. Yes. <laughs> All right. And who's Rebecca? <laughs> She's my niece. Oh, your niece. Okay, Rebecca. Yeah. And who else did you say? I'm sorry. Probably Sarah. Sarah's my sister as well. Okay. And Sally's a sister-in-law. Oh. You have and any, I, um... think Crystal, I think Crystal might be coming as well. Great. Is she a friend? Or... She's a friend, yes. Okay, all right. So, sounds like you have a big family. Mm-hmm. I do. <laughs> all right. Anybody from work? Um, let's just pretend you're still working. All right. Anybody from work coming? Um, I think there might be a, a few of them coming. Okay, great. All right. Any neighbors? How about any, any a couple of your neighbor neighbors coming? Um, I invited some, but I really don't know if they'll show up or not. All right. Uh, well, a couple of things happen, guys. Sometimes when you call, 
your hostess isn't like Lydia. They'll say, oh, I haven't heard from anyone. As if. <laughs> it's, listen, it's your job as the hostess. No, you don't say this to them, okay? Um, to contact and contact several different ways. So when you're host coaching your, co your hostesses, you want to make sure you're um, coaching them and how to have a successful party and how they should be inviting. They should invite by Facebook. They should invite by email. They can invite by texting. They can invite by a personal phone call. Hey, Ruthie, how are you? All right, so there's lots of ways of your hostess inviting them. And today, in today's world, is going to take more than one mode of communication. A postcard is nice, but snail mail doesn't do it. A text message is great, but you've got to keep inviting. Have a Facebook uh, group, do it by email, help, whatever your mode of communication is, but several. And then more than once, there's the initial invitation, all right, the second invitation, and maybe a third invitation, like a reminder, all right? Hey, Lydia, you know what? So I know you still have a couple people to hear from. You haven't heard from your neighbors yet. I tell you what, now this is where I give them a reason to call their um, guests. Lydia, what's your favorite color? Purple. Purple? Okay. So call your neighbors or contact your neighbors, text them, message them, whatever it is, and ask them what their favorite color is. I, I'm sorry. Tell them that the crazy Tupperware lady told them to wear purple because it's your favorite color to the party. So give them a call. Remind them about your Tupperware party tomorrow night or Thursday night and um, ask them to wear purple for an extra um, Tupper box from me. Okay. Okay. So here's the deal, yeah. guys. A lot of people are, are um, hesitant to call because they don't want to um, their friends to feel obligated, all right? And so this gives Lydia a silly reason to call her guests, all right, without having them having to feel obligated, okay? Just you can blame it all on me, all right? So spend 10 to 15 minutes on those host-related calls, your upcoming hostesses. Go over the recipe with them, who's making what, who's coming, who's coming, all right, guys? And then also spend 10, 15 minutes on new party leads. So people that you've met at parties, people who are your friends, relatives, neighbors, kids, moms, if you just joined, okay, the business. Um, if you've worked any events, your leads from events, okay? So there's 15 minutes of your power hour. The second part of the power hour is follow up on recruit leads, all right? If you want to grow this business, Honestly, sharing your passion and your excitement and your enthusiasm with somebody else just makes it more fun. It is more fun to do something with a girlfriend, right, guys? So yes. think of somebody, <laughs> especially if you're new, think of someone you would love to have in the business and work with you and grow together, okay? Um, so spend 10, 15 minutes there. Anything else you want to add to that part, Lydia? Um. Make it a goal. Make it a goal to talk to at least three people a week, at least three people a week about the opportunity. Um, and if you if you're new, tell them you need to practice. But getting to talk to people, and um, when you get in the habit of that, you're in the habit of looking. You're looking for people everywhere. Okay, you're looking for recruit leads everywhere at your parties, at Walmart, at the grocery store, at the post office, wherever you go, you're going to be in that mindset because I have to, I have to talk to three people this week. And you're going to, you're going to see recruits and you're going to um, be able to move up if you want to. Yep. All right. So share that passion with some, some friends. Okay. And we always talk about Frank and that is, you know, start with your friends, move on to the relatives, Go on to acquaintances, maybe people you work with. Um, of course, your relatives. I already did that, didn't I? Uh, neighbors. <laughs> your neighbors should know that you're the Tupperware queen in the neighborhood, okay? There should not be anybody else coming into your neighborhood except for your Tupperware business, you, okay? <laughs> so your neighbors need to know. And right. neighbors are not just to the right and left. They are in the front of your house, in the back of your house, 10 houses down, all right? They're all... Within that radius, those are your neighbors, all right? And then, of course, if you've got kids, the kids' moms, all right? So that's an easy way to start thinking of who. And maybe they're people that have talent. Maybe they have, they're people that are um, interested, and maybe they're people that are um, have potential. And I always remember Pam sharing, look for people that are baby, that um, are baby, baby broken board. 
just had a baby. Yeah. Maybe they're broke. Maybe they're bored. Okay. Baby broke and bored. <laughs> All right. So we got 10 minutes on host related calls. We got about 10, 15 minutes on your uh, following up on recruit leads. And if you don't have that 10, 15 minutes on recruit leads, you put it somewhere else. So you can put that 15 minutes into host related calls. All right. The third call is um, the third part of your par power hour is customer follow up guys. Customer follow up. All right. It truly will build your business. And so it's broken up in different uh, th different categories. First is the pre-call, guest pre-call. And I remember doing this, and, you know, sometimes you do things and you don't do them anymore. But um, And now instead of uh, the word call, I want you to think of the word contact, all right? I know I say call a lot, just the way I grew up, all right? Back then we didn't have social media. <laughs> and we didn't have all the different, different modes of contact. It was just the phone, all right? And so when I say the word call today, I don't care how you contact. I don't care if you contact with a cell phone. I don't care if you contact by phone. I don't care if you contact on Facebook Messenger. However that contact is, all right? But you need the customer follow-up contact. And so the pre-call, you might go on Facebook if they've got a Facebook group, all right? And you could just tell them, hey, don't forget, you know, Emmy's party is tomorrow night. Can't wait. Uh, love to meet her friends. Met her at the fair. Don't know everyone yet. So excited to meet all her awesome friends, all right? Um, and uh, Lydia, any comments on the pre-call? I think you covered it. Okay. Just it's important. Oh. <laughs> it's very important that you do it. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Emma, there are there is training on how to approach people, and um, that's a good question. How do you tell people without coming on too strong? And so you bring it up in conversation, and Lydia mentioned earlier about wearing logo wear. Um, and if you have a logo product on you um, or one of our Tupperware keychains, have like someone will say, oh, is that a Tupperware keychain or is that a Tupperware Shapo toy, especially if you use that one. Of course, if you have a T-shirt that says Tupperware or something Tupperware on you, a Tupperware pen, I don't care, okay? Um, if you are at a um, doctor's office or something, you could, sh you could bring up, start the conversation with them. And it, be interested in them and always be sincere. You know, you could say, oh, your baby is so cute and, and truly be sincere. Or I uh, love your smile. Hey, I love the blouse you're wearing. Just just a, a sincere compliment to start the conversation, all right? right. And, um, you know, ask them their name, you know, how many kids you have. You can go into that whole uh, form. It's called finding out about their family, occupation, re and recreation, all right? And so when you talk about the family and then you can lead into, oh, so what is that you do, you know, and then, of course, they'll probably turn around and ask you what you do. And that's how you can warm it up. So don't, I wouldn't throw it out there. Hey, I sell tough for you. I would love to have a party with you. No. <laughs> you're going to warm up the lead. You're going to build a relationship and you're going to pay it. You're going to start with that sincere compliment. So in a nutshell, that's a different training. <laughs> I'll share some more. OK. Yeah. All right. Uh, hey, I love Deb's comment here, too. You know, she was at the grocery store and shared how she, uh, there was, uh, keep her, fr her strawberries fresher and longer, okay? So, yeah, if you're in a, uh, a farmer's market or a grocery store and someone, you can hear, you can hear somebody complaining about their veggies never stay fresh, say, hey, you know what? I might have a solution for you. Would you be interested in hearing about it? The word might. I might have a solution for you. Don't automatically go to Tupperware, all right? Would you like to hear more about it? And now you can build into your Tupperware business. All right. So customer follow-up calls. We've got the pre-call to the party, so you remind them of the invitation. Um, the second part of a follow-up, uh, another part of a customer follow-up is the 24 after call. This is where you call the people at the party and you say, Lydia, thank you so much for coming to Deb's party last night. Loved meeting you. You just have a great personality, and I just – I just want you to know that if you need anything, I'm here for you, and I appreciate friends that support their friends. So thanks for coming to Deb's party. Now, a couple things here. I didn't try to sell her another piece of Tupperware. I didn't try to date a party with her, and I didn't try to recruit her. I wanted to, to be a sincere thank you for coming to Deb's party. I, I, Lydia will remember that phone call of thoughtfulness. Okay. And later on, when Lydia needs a Tupperware girlfriend, all right, and she's ready for a party or needs another piece of Tupperware, who do you think she's going to call? Who are you going to call, Lydia? 
the pushy person that like begged you to have a party and called you five days in a row and said, hey, will you have a party? Um, or you remember that person that just called and thanked you? Absolutely. The person that called and thanked me. Absolutely. Yep. All right. And then another part of customer follow-up calls is a check-in call. You want to you want to talk a little bit about the check-in call, Lydia? Um, the check-in call. You just call and I. This is your type of work, girlfriend, Lydia. I was just checking in. Um, and it, how is your new fridge smart working for you? Have you ha have you taken it out of the package? And if they haven't, oh, please take it out of the package and, and try it out. Try it out for the next week or two, and then um, call me back and let me know how it's working for you. I would love to know if it's working for you as well as it does for me. Awesome. So check-in calls are about a month later. And I'm noticing my time here. We've got about 10 minutes. So I'm going to post this and we're going to go, we're going to finish it. Okay. But I am going to post this so you can read this and practice it. The fourth part of um, power hours are personal development and growth, personal development and growth. And guys, I can do lots of trainings and there's going to be, there's going to be a ton of training these next couple of weeks starting today. All right. Cause we're going into our biggest selling season and we need more people all right so um and and so we are getting you ready to have the best fall season helping you have that extra holiday money it's right around the corner all right and instead of having credit card bills in the month of january from all your holiday gift giving what if you could pay all that off cash right before before all right and the way it's going to happen is by you putting in these power hours and and personally developing and growing yourself wherever you can get training you take it it's free okay there's lots of training on your my.tupware site go into the tab that says training okay there's lots of training on the rainbow group there's lots of training on the champion group and there's lots of training on our our regional group called rocket and it's starting tonight on the rocket region all right, and all day tomorrow, uh, okay, if you're not part of the Rocket, Reach <laughs> Rocket Region Facebook group yet, let me know. I'll add you to the group, okay? All right, so either by reading positive books, attending the team meetings like tonight, um, the organizational um, events every Tuesday in Strongsville, and if you can't come personally, come on Facebook Live, all right? We're not hiding anything from anyone. We want everyone to participate and be a part of that. And tomorrow night is, I'm going to tell you, vital to your fall season and to your month of October, all right? In October, Tupper pulled out all the stops. They got more gifts. They got more host gifts, bonuses. And you've not, you've got to understand the program, okay? Thank you, Randetta. Uh, you've got to understand the programs, all right? And so that you can feel confident and you can be convicted about having an awesome October and have the words, all right, that you need, okay? And so I'm going to urge you to be on tomorrow night if you can't come personally. Honestly, personally is going to be so much better. We're going to go over Record Breaker, what it is, what it means, what, it, what it's going to do for your business. We're going to go over all the host promotions for Record Breaker and why you want to date parties Hold the parties you've got dated into September because from those parties, you're going to be dating into October, have a strong October. We're going to have some great training on um, getting organized, be ready, um, all kinds of stuff, all right? Uh, coaching your hostess, all that kind of stuff. And then we're going to wrap it up with closing your September strong. So definitely be there. Do I need to say anything else, Lydia? <laughs> no, but there's, it's important to be there. It's very, very important. It's it's a lot of meat and potatoes and it's a lot of um, the basics, but you're getting trained by some of the best trainers in Tupperware. And we're so blessed to have people like Loretta and Ellen and Pam and Kevin and, and all those, all those people like tops in the, in um, sales and all that kind of stuff. Not everybody has that opportunity. Not everybody is, even has a close to that opportunity. So take advantage of it. All right. So um, so those are the four areas of your power hours. Host-related calls, 
uh, recruit lead calls, customer follow-up calls, and then your personal development. And however you can put that hour in your day, I promise you in, in three to four weeks, your business will be growing. Your business will be growing. All right? And if you want to move up to the next level, I'm going to tell you to double and triple it. You want to go fast? You got to put more hours in. All right? Okay. So I wanted to wrap it up. I um, want to make sure that um, every Saturday you get your My Week email. Lots of information in that My Week email. Coupon dates, when things will be released. Um, new programs. Cheryl um, Smith's video. That's our VP of field support. Cheryl Smith. Mm -hmm. Amazing word choices. She's been where you and I have been, from consultant to VP of Tupperware. All right, she's got the word choices, so watch her videos. All right. Also in there is what's called the party perks, and the party perks is what's in it for us. All right. And so we're working on getting your name on the wall of fame. That is Jim Balanzi, our Tupperware president. All right. He um, wants your name on his wall. And that is by bringing someone into the business this month, this month, all right? So we're looking for new people this month because we need more people selling more Tupperware. And when you have three or more, you start moving up, okay? And I'll talk about that another time, all right? Don't forget, it's sizzling hot to join right now. Why do you want to join this month, guys? Yes, yes, right here, okay? you got to get this into the hands of your girlfriends, all right? The MicroPro Grill, $199 for $45 when they join right now. And get, help them get started, okay, with 500 sales by the end of September for two sets of Fridge Smarts. You can go watch my video I did last night on Fun Food Facts and Friends. Every Sunday night, top champion director goes live with their team. And I didn't have anybody last night. So I want somebody to join me next time, all right? I don't want to do this by myself, all right? And I did some great recipes and shared a little bit. All right. Um, and this week, your work, it tells you, the party perks also tell you what you're working for this week, all right? This week, with 250 in sales, you're going to get this, oh, my, it's a stylish stri stripe tote. Why do they make everything a tongue twister? Stylish stripe <laughs> tote. <laughs> this right here, guys. Gorgeous. You want to talk about that prestigious appearance? Earn the logo wear. Earn it. It's got the Tupperware <coughs> logo on it. Use this to carry around your diapers. Use that to carry around your purse instead of your purse, all right? Get ready for Saturday, Tup Awareness Day. We want you out and about on Saturday, and we'll have some more training on that. Oh, yeah, this is rocking. This is adorable. <laughs> Everybody's got to have these sneakers, all right? Remember prestigious appearance, wearing something with a Tupperware logo on it? Guys, all right, if you're in the Confidence Start program and you earn these, it's a $25 copay. If you're not in Confidence Start, you've already passed that up, you get them for free. All right. And the way you do that is by having three standard parties. That is that is from September 15th through you have till Friday, September 28th. And really what it means is 1500 in sales. And I don't care how you did it. I don't care if you did it by party. Right, Lydia? We don't care if it's a fundraiser. We don't care if it's sampling and fundraiser and a party. We don't care if you sold 10 sets of something. We don't care how you did it, all right? I sold four orange bowls today for Halloween, all right? So get this out there. They want them. Four bowls. That was 60 bucks that I had before, okay? Um, and um, if you didn't watch Nikki Machka's training Tupper Tip today on Facebook posting, I'm going to stress you go watch that, okay? It's really important. If you're not getting the, the, the hits, you're not getting the communication, you're not getting the comments, it's because of Facebook blocking. It's um, they don't like um, cut pictures that are getting presented. They want live pictures. They want pictures of you. So you can take a picture of you with the flyer and say, "Who wants to see the new flyer?" I mean, go watch your training. All right. So <laughs> I promise an hour. <laughs> I got five minutes. <laughs> oh, and if you are a leader, move it and you do 500 over your normal. You're gonna get both pieces of this cookware. That is a coat roaster big enough to do five turkeys. <laughs> it's 18 quarts. Or one of Lydia's amazing lasagnas. <laughs> yeah. Huge. <laughs> and the Dutch oven. All right. If you're not a leader yet, if you're not a manager yet, then you want to um, move up this month. Move up to, and uh, talk to your director if that's a goal of yours. All right. But anyway, love the party perks. And I just want to wrap it up with some great um, – some great recognition, some halftime recognition. Yes, Candice, you need those sneakers. Yes, Deb, you want that bag. All right. Hey, Abigail. Hopefully Shannon's watching too. All right. Yay, Barbara Ann's planning to be there. Thank you, Randetta, for your comments. All right. 
And so I just want to share with you our halftime achievers. So it's the middle of September, and I want to kind of graduate all of those that are over $1,000 in sales for the month, personal sales, all right? And our number one right now is Cheryl Tiber, whoop, 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 with yeah, 3048 Way to go, Cheryl. $3,048 personally, guys. That's on her team. That's her personally. And you know how she does it? Parties. Cheryl is a big party girl. Party, party, party. All right. Number two is Gina Flower. Way to go, Gina. I think this was one party that Gina had with some little sales here and there. It was a $1,000 party. She's at $1,330 at number two right now on the team, in the org, I should say. Uh, by the way, this is Loretta's organization. And my base team, I call it Colors of You sometime, is my personal team. And then we have Lydia's Butterflies. All right. Yay. And that is another director team in our organization. And we also have Michelle Ringle with her golden tickets. All right. So we have Lydia Thanks, and Michelle. Michelle. We're looking for more directors on our organization. Right, Lydia? Yes. We want more. Yes. <laughs> Yes. All right. Um, number three right now. Here she is, Lydia. Congratulations. Yay. You're number three in the organization with 1,097. And number four is Mary Marlin with 1,073. So congratulations to all our um, $1,000 halftime achievers for the month. And right behind them, almost at 1,000, is Cassandra Rice with 957. Susan Miller is at 648. Number seven is Danita Jenkins, um, brand new at 562. I'm going to do the top 10. Number, <laughs> number eight is Lisa Wade down in Columbus at 538. Number nine, Tina, Tina Goble, because there's a couple Tinas watching us right now. Tina Goble at 529. Congratulations. And number 10 is Stephen Michael. Way to go, Stephen. You are number 10 on the team with 493. All right, let's go look at our halftime recruiters. These are people that have brought people in so far in the month of September, and they've gotten themselves a grill. Remember, every time you bring somebody in, ha -ha, you also get the grill. All right. Yeah. Uh, number <laughs> and, oh, sales break a tie because everybody's tied right now for number one position because you all have one. All right. Personal sales always breaks the tie in recruiting. That's Tupperware rules, okay? And number one is me. <laughs> Yay. I made, the, I made it. <laughs> I have a recruit this month. All right. Number two is Lydia. Congratulations, Lydia. Yay. Number two. Number three is Tina Goble. Number four is Teresa. Well, hey, Teresa, I think you're out there watching us. Teresa's all the way out in Maryland. We have, or, oh, I always forget. She might be Virginia. <laughs> All right, number five is Paige. Paige brought Danita into the business. Number six is Melinda Blaha. Number seven is Sonia Ziegler. And number eight is Jay Lee. All right, welcome. We have lots of new people bringing new people in, and we want even more, so keep bringing them in. And then I want to congratulate our halftime um, teams. All right, these are our team leaders, managers, and above. Um, our halftime achievers are those with 1,500 or more. You know what? I'm just going to recognize. All of our, our, I'm going to recognize all of our teams over a thousand. All right. So we have Colors of You. That's my Lorena's Rainbow base team. And we are at 13,527. Way to go, Rainbow. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Yay. Number two. Number two team is Glory Dreams with Cheryl Tiber at 4,035. Way to go, Cheryl. And her Glory yay. Dreams. Yay. We have number three on the screen <laughs> is Lydia's Butterflies. Way to go, Lydia. And her butterflies Yay. at 3,000. You're at 3,099. Keep on going. Woo, woo, woo. All right. Get those sneakers. Everybody on the team needs those sneakers. <laughs> Way to go, Lydia. All right. Number four, Sunflowers, a brand new team with Gina Flower. And that is at 2,850. I'm sorry, 2,854. Yeah. Way to go, Sunflowers. Ooh. Oh, she's only a couple hundred dollars away. She needs one recruit, though, because to get that cookware for leaders, you not only have to have the sales, you have to have the one personal recruit. So, Gina, one personal recruit and 200 in unit sales, and you've got yourself a Dutch oven and a roaster. Uh, congratulations is uh, Golden Tickets with Michelle Ringle. Way to go, Michelle. 2,178 in team sales. 
Number six is Candy's Inspirations. Woo! And I saw hey, Candace, Candace on there. Hey, Candace, how are you? Oh, Teresa's in West Virginia. Thank you, Candace. I always forget. <laughs> all right. So way to go. Yes, clap and cheer for your directors and your team leaders. All right. So Candace is at uh, 1,631. Way to go, Candace. You need that cookware, girlfriend, for absolutely free. <laughs> all right. And uh, number seven is Colton's Crusaders with Sonia Ziegler, 1,500. M&M Gang, Mary Marlin down in uh, Southern Ohio with 1,429. And then we have Stevens Pride. Way to go, Stephen Michaels, down in Columbus with uh, 1,200 in team sales. And then Life's a Carousel with Susan Kirkland. Number 11 is Shades of Orchids with Maureen Mullet on Lydia's team. Way to go, Lydia. Give Maureen a shout out for us. She's Amish and can't be on with us today. Yay! All right. So those are all our teams over a thousand. So I wanted to thank you guys for hopping on. It's been an hour of fun. And I hope you guys um, are ready for some great training. There's training tonight on the Rocket Region. There's a Record Breaker Workshop training tomorrow night. And all day tomorrow, Facebook Live is Rocket Region training by all your top business leaders, okay? And then I'll see you guys tomorrow at 6 p.m., at the studio for some awesome record breaker training. Anything else, Lydia, you want to add? I don't think so. Okay. Power Listen, hour, everybody. Power hour. Yeah, I think we should give them a challenge. What do you think, Lydia? I think so. Power hours. Really challenging. If you, how about if they put their power hour in every day? Remember, no Saturdays and Sundays, five days a week, however you want your five days. I don't care. Five days a week, and you, bleh, a week, and you do that for three weeks, starting this week, all right? Starting this week, all right? So this is week one, week two. So by the end of October, I'm going to go to my calendar here. All right. All right. So by October 8th, okay, you text me, personal message, your upline director, Lydia, myself, or Michelle, and let us know that you did your power hour for three weeks. You put an hour of host coaching calls, um, customer follow-up calls, recruit lead calls, contact, and personal development. All right? All right. And you did all four of those categories, and you did that every day. All right? Because it's not, it's not fair to say you did a power hour and you did one hour of training. That doesn't count. You've got to have all yeah. four elements. All four elements in your power hours, the customer follow-up, the host-related calls, the recruit lead calls, and your personal development. You do that every day, okay, for three weeks in a row. Your business is going to grow, okay? <laughs> and you contact Lydia or Michelle or I and let us know, and we have a gift for you for doing that for three weeks. And then, by then, you can have it. Right, Lydia? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, guys. All right, don't forget your power hour challenge. Three weeks in a row, put the power hours in, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow night. Bye, guys. Bye, Lydia. <laughs> Bye.